Today we got a bit of a job ahead of us. I have to go back to our old house and grab a trailer load of stuff that has to go to the dump that we didn't want to move over here. We're going to throw that all away and I need to get it out of there. So I figured I'd take you along with me. If you're wondering about a certain kitty cat, this one right here, little Mellow, she is doing just fine. She recovered rather nicely from going out to the vet. By that night she was acting good again and I couldn't be happier. Clark's going over to his Grammys today, so I have to go back here and get him. I think he might already be waking up a little bit. Hey, mister. Hey, mister. What are you doing in there, huh? What are you doing? Hi. You ready to go to your Grams? There we go. We got the baby boy. All right, we are ready to go. We're going to go to the dump. You're not. You're going to go to Grams, but I have to. All right, there's your car seat. Let's get you in there. Mr. Clark's in the car. Here, I got something that you like. There's your book. There's your book. Oh, fascinating reading material. Got the Boo Bear loaded up. She's a good girl. My father-in-law was gracious enough to offer me his assistance with the dump run today. That's one major mistake that I've made is I never got a hitch put on my Xterra. So anytime I need to haul something, I'm kind of asking everyone for help and I hate to do that but um, I'm really thankful that he's offering to help me do this today because I, I have no other choice. These foggy mornings are ridiculous. We're here. The dude. See, this is what I need right here. This is what I got. We're here. Yeah, it looks, no, he didn't take anything off there. All right, we just made it up to the house. Look at this masterpiece of stuff. That is a lot of junk. That's four years worth of just everything. There's my weight bench right there and couch, just all kinds of crap. And this is all gonna be gone today. All right, we're all strapped up and ready to go. Yeah, I'd say so. Like, are you guys nuts or what? <laughs> it's a part of the video. It's what? It's a part of the video. You got to get all the shots. This is us uh, going into the landfill. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very bleak, depressing scene out here today. I paid my dues. Paid my dues $18. Now we're backing up. You're good, come on back. Stop. Wow, this is my favorite part. I love coming out here and just chucking everything in here. It's a good stress reliever, and that's what I'm gonna do. We just finished up at the scrapyard. Here is what was once mine is now theirs. That's a lot of crap. Got everything emptied off of here. The only thing left is this, which my father-in-law wants to scrap it. And there's a lot of metal here, so might as well. But uh, there you go. We're done at the uh, scrap yard, done with this run. And that was fun. That is some good stress relief, jumping all that stuff in there. And uh, just glad it's gone. Let's go back up to the house. We got some more stuff to grab, and then that's gonna be it for today. Well, we made it back home from the dump. I realized in the last clip I said scrapyard like several times. It's not the scrapyard, it's the dump. Scrapyard, they give you money for dropping stuff off. I paid, that was $18, cleared this all out. Speaking of scrap, I wanna show you my father-in-law's scrap pile. He's got a lot of stuff over here, which we added too, in fact. Look at all this stuff. Gonna make a little bit of money off all this crap out here. A Little bit of scrap here and there. But uh, yeah, I, I love to go to the scrapyard and do a video about that, but I've never had a chance to make it out there. Only the dump, I've been there a couple times, so I thought I'd share it with you today and I had a little bit of fun going out there. It's such a stress reliever, throwing all that stuff out and getting rid of it and going back with an empty trailer. It's just, it's just a good feeling. Lesson to learn to myself, don't hoard all that stuff again. That's only four years worth of stuff, so. Uh, you can imagine what would happen if I lived there for 30 years and it'd just be, just be such a hoard. So that's my lesson, no more hoarding leaves are coming off the tree. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.